Demonic black and white clown art has become a cult horror icon in the last few years, but the clown from Terrifier debuted in the 2008 short The Ninth Circle. Clowns can often inspire fear and unease, and have made for some iconic villains such as Stephen King's It's Pennywise and Batman villain The Joker. Art the clown from director Damien Leone's Terrifier trilogy feels to some like the newest killer circus performer on the horror block, but he has been around much longer than many fans of his antics realize. Art the Clown, an evil black and white clown best known for the Terrifier movies, most recently 2024's Vomit Inducing Terrifier 3, originally appeared in 2008's The Ninth Circle. Art the Clown was created by filmmaker Damien Leone, and his unsettling monochromatic design was inspired by a clown scene in the Twilight Zone episode 5 characters in search of an exit. While Art is mute like other slasher characters like Halloween's Michael Myers, he's shown to take a great deal of delight in terrifying his victims before killing them. However, the art the clown in the Ninth Circle is quite different from David Howard Thornton's portrayal in the Terrifier franchise. Art the clown has been shown to be able to withstand a great deal of damage without dying, carry out Freddy Krueger-style dream invasions, and vanish without a trace. Art the clown has changed a lot since his debut though. The black and white clown may have his own solo franchise, but Art made his debut in the Ninth Circle, a short film from Damien Leone that arrived in 2008. Surprisingly, Art the Clown's role in the short is relatively small, but he's easily the most memorable part. The Ninth Circle opens with a young woman named Casey waiting on a train when Art sits across from her. Needless to say, she's quickly creeped out by Art the Clown, and after tricking her with a gift, he injects her with a syringe and kidnaps her. Art the Clown disappears from the Ninth Circle following this opening, with Casey waking up underground and being tormented by a demonic cult. The second half of the short is still atmospheric, though some of the masks used for the demon characters don't hold up nearly as well as the mute clown ART's stark black and white mime-like makeup. The Ninth Circle later served as the first entry in the 2013 anthology All Hallows' Eve, which also restores a previously deleted subplot where Casey meets other kidnapped victims. All Hallows' Eve makes Art the Clown the main star. The feature-length anthology movie features Art the Clown in all three shorts, as well as the background narrative running throughout which connects them with his growing stardom eventually leading to 2016's Terrifier, and Terrifier 2. It's doubtful Leone or anyone else involved with the Ninth Circle knew just how popular the black and white clown would become, but with the second Terrifier movie, with returning star David Howard Thornton, blowing the box office wide open, his cult following is only more likely to grope why Art the Clown should make horror studios take note. Damien Leone's villainous clown is reinventing slasher villains. A montage of Art the Clown and Pennywise custom image by SR Image Editor. The Terrifier franchise gained a lot of traction in 2022, with Terrifier 2 making back over 30 times its budget at the box office. What started out as a low-budget horror endeavor has turned into a viral sensation, with Art the Clown already touted to go down in horror history with the likes of Pennywise, and horror studios should take note. The Terrifier franchise started out as a series of short films that grew in budget thanks to campaigns on Indiego. The black and white clown began as a figure only known by niche horror circles and has turned into a well-known source of nightmare fuel, and all on a shoestring budget. The Terrifier franchise makes its money in splatter, gore, and inventive kills, all with Art the Clown leading the way. Marketing for the Terrifier movies has been especially viral, with reports of audience members fainting and vomiting in theaters during a particularly gruesome Terrifier 2 scene, with the same happening again when Terrifier 3 was released in 2024. Damien Leone has even gotten the approval of Stephen King, who gave Terrifier 2 a big thumbs up. Art the Clown proves that it doesn't take a Hollywood-sized budget to bring on the scares. Rather, it takes ingenuity, creativity, and a whole lot of blood. The Ninth Circle was only the beginning, and audiences are sure to be terrified by Art the Clown for many Terrifier movies to come.